Milo, have you seen how many bees are in the garden today? Yeah, there are lots of them. We have to be careful not to bother them so they won't sting anyone. I don't like being stung by bees. Once I got stung on my arm and it got all swollen like a giant potato. Thanks to bees, we have flowers in the garden. Uh-huh. If they didn't go from flower to flower collecting and spreading pollen, we wouldn't have any flowers. Ooh, wow. Hello, little bee. How are you? Hello. What's the matter? Is it because you're tired of going from flower to flower? No. The problem is that I don't know how to collect pollen. Nobody ever taught me how. Then we better do something about that. Yeah. My friends, we have a problem. There's a bee that doesn't know how to collect pollen, and no one has ever helped him learn. We need to show the bee how to collect pollen. Um, and what happens if it stings us? Bees only sting when they feel threatened, but we're going to help her, so there's no need to worry about getting stung. So team, are we all ready to help our new friend? Yeah! We've all decided that we're going to help you. Soon you'll be the fastest pollen collecting bee. We just don't know exactly how we're going to do it. Let me know when you figure it out. I'll be playing in the flower garden. Wait for me, Mumu, I'll go with you. Why don't we all just give him an example? What a great idea, Alfred. Yeah, yeah. We'll all pretend we're bees and go from flower to flower collecting pollen. We'll put a little bit of pollen in Mumu's hand, a little bit in Rita's hand, and a little more in Olga's hand. And he'll see how it's done. Little bee, you're going to learn something new. Come with us. Little Bee, stay with Milo while I get everything ready. Rita, you stand back, right behind that rock. A little more to the right, two steps back. Perfect! Mumu, you stand four steps to your right. One, two, three, four, perfect! You and Alfred, um, you're just fine right there in the middle. Very good. Everybody ready? Little B, pay attention to what Olga's gonna do. Go! Did you see how Olga goes around touching each of their hands? That's what you need to do. You must go from flower to flower, collecting the pollen from each one. Oh, all right, little bee. See how easy it is? You just have to fly from flower to flower. Now you must do the same thing. Go and fly from hand to hand, touching each one, then fly off to the next one. Got it? Mm, I think so. Also, Olga has placed a bit of pollen in each hand for you to grab and to carry in your legs while you fly. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready! Very good, little bee. Now fly towards Alfred. Fly towards Moo Moo. Oh, great. The bee's coming for its pollen. What happens if the bee thinks I'm a flower? Will he pollinate me? <gasps> and what happens if he stings me? Milo said the bee wouldn't hurt me. But if he stings me, I'll be mad. 
Maybe it's better when he gets here that I put my hand down so he doesn't come near me. But if I do that, he may get mad at me. That bee will sting me for sure. I think I better just run when he gets here. He's almost here. I'm so scared. I'm out of here on the count of one, two, three. Ah! A bee! the pollen. The bee is your friend. I'm sure if I were to turn around, it would sting my uh -uh. behind. Don't be silly, Moo Moo. Bees can be our friends. Ouch! A bee just stung my behind. Somebody help me. It really hurts. Uh, pass it to me. Now to uh. me. Now back uh. to me. What's this? Is anyone going to pass it to me or what? Pass it to me already. Uh. 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 Oh. Oh. Uh. Wow! wow. Talalo, that shot was incredible! Now we have to go look for it. Come with me. You can see a lot better from the sky. How did you get to be so strong, Talalo? Look at how many apple trees there are. And they're all full of apples. It's incredible. You're right. Talalo, next time you need to kick it softer. Look at the ball. It's right under the apple tree. Let's go get it. That's what you get for kicking the ball so hard. <laughs> huh? oh. Where's that laughter coming from? <laughs> huh? I haven't laughed so much in a long time. <laughs> it was pretty funny, wasn't it? Mr. Apple Tree, why are you so far away from the other apple trees? Well, you see, I was born in this place. And it never bothered me to be a bit farther away from my brothers. This way I can grow bigger and be more comfortable. But this year it hasn't rained very much and I haven't gotten any water. My brothers have been able to grow many apples, but I haven't been able to grow a single one. As you know, what we apple trees like to do most is grow apples, so that everyone can taste how good they are. Uh-huh. Is there anything we can do to help you? Not unless you can make it rain and make the wind take all these dead leaves away. Anyway, I hope that one day you can taste my apples. We've got to go now, Mr. Apple Tree. But don't you worry. We'll try and help you real soon. My friends, we need to help Mr. Apple Tree. The poor guy has no water and hasn't been able to produce any apples. Um, what can we do to help? What a great idea, Talalo. We'll make Mr. Apple Tree as good as new. It's raining. I can't believe it. Water! Lots of water! This is totally awesome! It's you! Thank you so much for doing this! Look at Mr. Tree. He's got flowers growing out of his head. That's strange, isn't it? 
Moo Moo, those flowers grow out of all the apple trees, and they will all turn into apples in just a few days. Good morning, Mr. Apple Tree. You sure have a lot of flowers now. All those flowers are so pretty. Thank you, my friends. When my apples are ripe, you can eat as many as you like. That's great. I want a basket full just for me. We'll check back soon to see how many apples there are. See you tomorrow. It's amazing how many apples there are. Hurry, hurry. Come here, everyone. You are not going to believe this. It's incredible. I see hundreds and hundreds of apples. It's awesome how many there are. Are all of you ready? Are we ready for what? Look how many I have. I have even more. Thank you, Mr. Apple Tree, for so much fruit. They are all for you, for having been so kind. See you later. That was a lot of fun. We should go to the forest and look for trees, and if we see that they're dry, we'll give them lots of water. Yes, it's wonderful. Look how many apples Mr. Apple Tree has given us. Everyone, look at me. I'm a tree with flowers on my head. And these apples are so good. Um, um, um. Ants. Finally, it's snack time. Today, I think I'm going to have my snack here on the ground beneath this nice big tree. Hey there. Hello, little ant. What are you doing here all by yourself? What's wrong? Don't you want to answer? Well then, suit yourself. If you don't mind, I'd like to have my afternoon snack and don't want to be bothered by anyone. So I would appreciate it if you let me eat alone. A little ant, didn't you hear me? This is my snack and I feel like eating it all by myself. So you should take a little walk and get away from my basket. Get out of my basket! I'm sorry, little ant, but this is my snack, and I have no intention of sharing it with anybody. Is that clear? What? Get out of here, little ants. This is my snack, and I'm not sharing it with you. Don't you try to eat my snack. These little ants are gluttons and will eat everything. I have to keep them far away from my food. I think it would be better if I sit somewhere else. I think that bench would be a good spot. I'm sure I won't find any ants here. I'm going to eat the chocolate wafer that I like so much. Ah. Hey, what are you doing on my wafer? Get off! <sighs> this cannot be happening to me. At this rate, I won't be able to eat my snack. How was he able to get into my wafer? It doesn't look like there are any more of those bugs inside, but... This place isn't safe. I think it's better if I find another spot. How strange. Be still, basket. Stop that now. This basket is haunted. It's not possible for it to move on its own. I know it must be those ants that are making it move. One, two, three. All right then, ants. You guys have been asking for it. Now this is war. Give me back my basket, you afternoon snack thieves. Be still, basket. I want my snack. 
This can't really be happening to me. Since I'm so hungry, I've got to do something drastic. I'm going to be the fastest cow in the world. I've just got to concentrate. It's time for a snack. At least everything's in its place. It's time to eat. Oh, this is a nightmare. I just want to eat my snack in peace. These darn ants. This is too much. Now they want to eat me. Now everybody stop right now. My dear ant friends, I have a proposal for you. You set me down, and I'll let you have half of my food. Mm -hmm. Half of my food isn't enough for you? <laughs> All right, then. I have got four wafers in my basket. If you let me eat one alone, I'll leave you the other three. Finally, I can eat my chocolate wafer in peace. Oh, it looks so good. I can't believe it. This wafer has no chocolate. <laughs> they took all the chocolate, you darn ants. Just wait until I get my hands on you. Ugh, you're gonna pay for this, you ants. This is not gonna end this way, without chocolate. What's the matter, Moo Moo? It's been terrible, Rita. The ants are totally <sighs> selfish beings. They ate all of my snack. But Moo Moo, why didn't you do anything to defend yourself? But I tried to. I ran and I jumped, but there are so, so many, so much faster. They came out of nowhere and they took it all away. I never even got a chance to eat. And you know how important my afternoon snack is. Yes, Moo Moo, I know how important your snack, your breakfast, and your dinner are for you. I do. Why don't you go to the ant hill and ask them to give you back your snack? I don't plan on going there and negotiating with them. They were very close to taking me away and eating me. That's impossible, Moo Moo. Ants are really very small. And they're not going to eat us. Where are you going, Rita? I'm talking to you. I'm not moving. You're the one who's moving. Oh, no! It's the ants! They think we're food! Help me, Rita! Help me, Moo Moo! We've got to run away real fast, Rita! But where should we go, Moo Moo? I don't know, Rita! Just run! <laughs> <laughs> 